All right, Bolo Buddies, I wanna to talk to you about a few things that I love to sell. That is replacements and broken items. And you all think I'm crazy, but these things sell. Check this out. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. I'm going to pop over and I'm going to show you what's inside of one of those craft totes that's coming to whatnot. But I wanted to come on here and talk about two things that I'm getting ready to ship. The first item are these VTech replacement blocks. These go to a train and they have a different letter on each side. And when I first got them, I'm like, oh, there's no way it's complete because there were not enough blocks. But it actually is complete because there's a letter on each side. Okay, so replacements. One thing I am known for selling. So I picked these up at the Goodwill bins. And if you haven't checked out some of those videos, check them out. And I sold these for $23 plus shipping. Talk about these replacement blocks. So what I did is I went to eBay and I put in re replacement blocks. And I am searching, um, just ended recently. That's what I'm going to go with on this one, not high to low. I just kind of want to see what's currently selling. So this is a Mega Blocks re replacement pieces, and I have sold Mega Blocks replacements. I actually do really good over on Poshmark with the larger Legos and um, Mega Blocks. So think about that. If you're not selling on Poshmark, you can sell hard goods over there. And I do have a link to join down below, and that will alert me if you join. So um, you can check out that referral link. I think you get $10 to shop and then they give me a $10 credit to shop when you buy something. So it is like a referral link. So I'd appreciate it if you use that if you're not already on Poshmark. But let's look here. Duplo, these are like Winnie the Pooh. I saw a whole bunch of these. I don't know what these are, but um, some of the higher solds are these. It looks like it goes to some robot. So those, if you see those, definitely pick them up. Okay, this is from the Quirkle, Qu Quirkle, Quirkle game. <laughs> I've talked about these before. One of my uh, Bolo Buddies YouTube members sells these and she just keeps replacing them. And uh, it's a great way to have a multi-quantity listing. So not going to make a bunch of money per item, but it all adds up and it's an easy list, okay? Okay. So here's more of those cubes. I don't know. Those for some reason are special. Okay. These I think are the same as mine. Uh, the alphabet activity cubes, but they have this thing with them and sold for $49.99. Here's more of that Quirkle game. So just to give you an idea, these replacement parts do sell. This is a vintage Tupperware toys, busy block replacement letter J. I don't see a J, but maybe I'm, I don't know. J for Jeep. Maybe it's on the back side, but eight bucks plus shipping on that. Now I know that replacement parts are not for everyone. Some people will not waste their time with these smalls, but um, look at this, you guys. It's a Jenga piece. Is it one piece? $4.39 free shipping. It's a wood block single from the 1986 Milton Bradley game. How funny is that? I wonder if they had like multi-quantity. Look right here, 17 sold. So they just got one package um, and listed them. Uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. It's one block. So yeah, 17 of them sold. So there you go. Anybody want to list Jenga pieces? So, I mean, they're not making much, maybe 50 cents to a buck, but it's one listing multi-quantity. So just some ideas. This one right here is mine as well. It just sold. Um, I want to say it sold for the full asking price of $43.40. You guys will see that in an upcoming What Sold video. Um, but I parted out a Cactus Town Western Village. And um, it had like horses and stuff like that. So I listed those separately. But just to give you an idea of different things that you can sell. Um, here's another one. Double-sided. It's missing one. Missing the H. Okay, here's the sh uh, the sorter blocks. 
So yeah, lots and lots of things. I love the peekaboo blocks. These always do fantastic. I dig those out of the bins all the time. I just actually found a couple of these at the bins. Um, I don't know if I've listed them yet. I don't think I have. If I have, they're up in my store. So yeah, I will totally all day long list replacement parts. I love it. It cracks me up when they sell. I just am like, oh, I just made someone's day. Someone has been looking for this and they needed it and I had it. So, and a lot of times, so you see these right here, you're like, what a waste of time, $2.75 plus shipping. Well, number one, that shipping is high. So they're making a little bit of money on that shipping. And every time they find this letter A, they just go in and add to the quantity. So they're not doing anything extra. They just have to keep finding it. Okay. Now here's another item that I just sold. It is this uh, handle. It's a Playmobil replacement handle for the take along house. And if I remember correctly, the item was damaged and I sold the handle. And then I also sold the latch on the front. The latch sold really quickly. But here's just some other handles that have sold as replacements. So you know, if you get these items and they're damaged, take them apart. You can sell those replacement pieces. And I'm just giving you kind of an idea of some different handles. This is the replacement leech. That's so funny for a real, for real pet. Never thought of that. Some of these items don't really apply. Um, I tried to take it down to toys and hobbies to really show you. These are um, from a G.I. Joe Jeep right here. All right, so replacement battery covers. So when I go to the bins, a lot of times I pick up toys that I get them home and they don't work. And I'm like, you know what? I would like to try to make my money back. So what I'm doing is I'm listing the battery covers. This is my listing. I took a best offer of $7 for this. It's from a vintage 1978 Mer Merlin replacement um, battery cover for this handheld game. And is it big money? No, but it'll probably cover what I paid for the item because it was a heavier item. And I probably made three, maybe $4 on that. But you can see here that battery covers sell. People lose these or they get damaged and they need them. So as long as you can identify what it covers, go ahead and list those items. Someone is going to be looking for it and they're going to be so thankful that you have it. Um, I've sold a few LeapFrog um, battery covers and, you know, they've actually sold surprisingly quick for me, especially for uh, the vintage harder to find items that are no longer made. So just another tip. Again, some of you are not going to want to waste your time with this. This is for the Fisher Price Imaginex Bigfoot Monster, $8.50 free shipping. So this person probably made, you know, six, seven bucks on this after they paid fees and maybe only five after they paid fees and everything. But hey, you know, uh, you got to figure out what your business model is and what you what you want to list. I know any activity in your store is good activity. And from what I understand, the more you sell, the more you get picked up in the algorithm. I don't know if any of that is true. That is just what everyone says. Another thing I sold is this amazing brooch. It is, um, whoo, I just dropped it made by Weiss and Weiss is an incredible brand to be on the lookout for. I actually pulled this off of a journal from that big estate clean out. It was a garage sale estate craft clean out. I have not posted the video yet because I'm waiting to post it before I do my whatnot show because those items are coming to whatnot. Just fantastic crafters items. I may give you a peek. Um, we'll see. I'm thinking about it. But anyway, this ended up having a little teeny chip. Let me see. Do you see it up there right on the corner of the top little gemstone right there? Oh my goodness. This if it didn't have that chip, would have went for a lot more money. But I did end up selling this. Okay, this came from that estate sale I talked about. Probably got a quarter in this. Ended up selling it on best offer for $50 plus shipping. Super score. So the first thing I searched on eBay is Weiss. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's W-E-I-S-S, -S, butterfly brooch. And I am searching high to low solds for these butterfly brooches. So you're just going to see... A lot of these have sold in probably around the $75 to $100 range, depending on which one it is. 
So really with that chip being on mine, getting $50, I feel really good about that. But you can see these are just beautiful. They are signed on the back, so you will know it is a Weiss. But once you see this, they're pretty recognizable because the the artwork in them is just, they, they stand out. I mean, they are embellished with tons of rhinestones. Look at this one. And that one went for 68 and it's in mint condition, it looks like. I don't see any flaws. And here is mine. So it had that little chip right there and it went for 50 bucks. So I think I did pretty good. This one right here is pretty much identical to mine and it did not have the flaw and it looks like it sold for 65. So pretty good, I think. What do you guys think? Do you think I did well with that? And just here are some more comps. I searched high to low. You guys, price these items high um, and wait for the right buyer. You can put best offer on there, but if you price it too low, it's going to sell low. Somebody's going to grab it and it's going to bring the market down. And these are beautiful and definitely quality made worth the money, in my opinion. All right, so let's go over here to just Weiss. Um, I put in Weiss brooch. Just in general brooches by this brand. Um, you can see here, there are some really high solds. And I'm not doing my Bolo category video where I go in and I actually click on each one, check feedback and stuff like that. I'm really just pulling it up for you guys to see that this is a really great brand to pick up if you see it. Um, a lot of people are selling these in lots. So, I mean, you can source on eBay, but... Typically, the people that are selling jewelry in big lots like this, they've done their homework and they've pulled out the really good stuff. So be careful with that and definitely do your research. Uh, YouTube auctions are a great place to get jewelry. I know Donatella Bottolino and Auctions for You, they do not go through their jewelry before they sell it. Um, they just throw it in bundles and you can find some really great stuff. If you have purchased from one of them and found a home run, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I know some of you may not want to tell because that brings competition, right, to the auction. But anyway, here's just some other Weiss things. Like, look at this, 169 on that. Um, you got the flower at 179 So be on the lookout for the brand Weiss. All right, let's talk. I'm going to pop over and I'm going to show you what's inside of one of those craft totes that's coming to whatnot. I don't know when, but it's coming. I've got vintage clothes coming. I've got many, many piles coming your way. Um, I do have a link down below that will take you to my whatnot. I'm Bolo Buddies over there. If you're already on whatnot, definitely just go and uh, search me. If you are not on whatnot yet, you can use my referral code or my referral link down below, and that will get you a $10 credit to shop. So definitely use that. Um, free money is great money, right? All right, let's look inside this tote. Okay, I'm only going to show you a little bit because I have four, I think four big totes full of all of these crafters items. This lady was an artist and um, they were having a garage sale and I was literally looking in their garage and they said, do you want to go to the basement? And I said, yes, send me to the basement. So there's lots of just little unique things. Um, she made stuff out of, I forget what it's called. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this open. Oh, goodness. I wanna show you this. Okay, look at these little weird things she made. They're molded out of something. Or maybe she handmade these, I don't know. But look how incredible that is, the detail. Do you think she did that with like a like she carved them or do you think it was a mold? Cause there's molds in here. But anyway, just uh, lots of, lots of different stuff. These are incredible. I haven't decided if I'm gonna sell this um, individually or as a lot, but they're leather magnets. How incredible is that? Um, but just, I mean, all kinds of stuff. The full video will be out on, again, before the show. I, I think she may have made these also. I don't know what they're made of, but pretty cool. We got some vintage clip-on earrings. Um, so jewelry, oh, that's kind of cool. 
I don't even really know what all is in here. I literally have not had time to dig into this. I just figured what not would be uh, the best way. These just say casual corner, but they're probably definitely vintage. But they're cute, you know. Oh, look at these fish earrings. Wow, cute. Oh, no, it's a button cover, and there's only one. So, yeah. Is that a button cover, too? I don't know what all this stuff is. So, yeah, it'll be fun kind of going through it. I'll probably do um, on whatnot just... Oh, goodness, I don't even know how I'm going to do it. I may just put things in by weight, and then we'll just kind of go through this together, and I'll pull things out and... Um, maybe do it by weight. I don't know. Cause there's just so much stuff and I don't have, I don't have the time to, uh, take pictures of everything and have it pre-listed. This looks like some sort of shell bracelet. There's a couple of those. Maybe I'll sell those together. This is, um, tiger's eye, right? It's cold. Ooh, it's cold. I don't know what this is. It's cold too. It's some sort of rock or stone. Rock. It's a rock. Um, Ooh, jewelry making supplies. So if you guys are into the, this type of stuff, look, they're, um, oh, I can't say that word. We'll just, I'll just show you. <laughs> so I don't know, just lots of uh, stuff like this. Let's see what's in this one. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. Some sort of I don't know. It's a treasure hunt. It's a treasure hunt. But anyway, that first brooch I showed you, again, it was stuck on a, um, was stuck on the front of a, like a journal book or a notebook. I don't know what that is. Look how pretty that is. Wow. What is that? A Just a chunk of something. Wow. That is beautiful. I have no idea what it is. That's what's on the front. I don't know if that's actually the box that it came in or what, but these are just more um, really nice jewelry making things. What on earth? Let's see. That's one of those balls that come, uh, what do you call those? Meditating balls? I don't know what these other things are. So I'm definitely giving you guys a sneak peek, but I know there's three totes that are this big and this is, I don't know what size this is. It's pretty big. Um, what's in here? More just who knows what beads. I just want to dig through this now. Ah! It's crazy. So, new old stock stuff. Um, just a hodgepodge, really. But if you are a crafter, I don't know what that is. 75 cents. An old patch. So yeah, I'm going to say there's a big mix of just crafting and uh, jewelry making stuff. So we are going to stop there. <laughs> you guys are going to have to come follow me on whatnot. Let me see. This is how big the tote is and it is full to the bottom. There's another one below it that's just about that size and one of them over here. So um, ah, so excited. You guys have got to follow me on whatnot. And I'm not just gonna do crafting items. I think I'm gonna bring jewelry and other things like that as well. So I hope you found this video helpful. Kind of two totally different things. We've got high-end jewelry and then we have replacements, um, replacement parts uh, and toys. But you know what? It all sells, it all adds up. And thanks for watching.